Hi guys, Nexi here, back with another video and this is 120 inch drop down ambient light projecting screen, designed specifically for the ultra short row laser projectors. And today we're gonna review it. Stay tuned. Welcome guys and thanks for tuning in. Last year I made a video review about the rise up version of the Vivid Storm ambient light projecting screen and many of you guys like it. I received many positive comments and many questions, is there a drop down version of this screen? And since recently we finally managed to move into the bigger home, I decided to get it and this is it. This huge motorized projecting screen comes from the company named Vivid Storm. Vivid Storm is a manufacturer of the projecting screens since 2004 and they have many kinds of projecting screens for different applications, including this ambient light projecting screen which can block up to 97% of ambient light that comes from the ceiling, while the screen will pass the light that comes from the specific angle from the floor, and reflect it straight to the viewer. You can see how the fabric turns from the light grey to the black when I rotate the screen sample with my hands. This special fabric greatly improves picture quality and contrast during a daytime or in a well illuminated room, making the projector screen to look similar like a regular TV, only in a much larger scale. Alright, and now let's unbox the screen and see what you get in the box. To unbox this huge projector screen, I recommend that you have a family member or a friend to help you with the unboxing, since the screen is a very long. After that I cut all of these box stripes and remove it, I take off the box edge protectors. Then I open the box and remove all parts and accessories. With the help of my lovely wife, we lift the screen and we place it on the floor. Next step was to remove the left of the accessories. Then I cut every piece of the protective foam and we remove it from the screen housing piece by piece. Then we lift the screen one more time and remove the plastic bag that was covering the screen housing. And the unboxing was done. The screen housing looks very nice and it's a slim design. This one comes in a black color, it's made of metal and the quality of the screen housing feels very good. Beside the screen in a box, you will also get a manual USB trigger, charging cable for the remote control, wall screws, hanging mount, two remote controls with a wall holder, the wire remote controls, wall brackets, cleaning brush with the screen adjusting tools, and we also have a few screen samples of a different screen fabric, which is very nice. Remote controls looks good and they are nice and light. The black one comes with a receiver and it works on infrared which requires line of sight to operate the screen controls, while the black one works on the radio frequency and it does not need to have a line of sight. Both remote controls comes with a holder and they have a built-in rechargeable lithium battery, which you can charge over the USB cable. Now before any installation, I first check the manual. The screen manual has a lot of useful information and guide how to install and use the screen, how to clean it and what to avoid. After that I carefully read the whole manual, I got familiar with the product and I decided to install the screen directly on the wall instead on the ceiling. This screen comes with a nice and strong wall slash ceiling brackets with a decent screws and plugs so it shouldn't be too hard to install it. Now to install the screen, first I mark each hole on the wall where the screws will be. Then I tape the plastic bag under the market place which will collect the concrete dust. After that I drill four holes in a wall I install the plastic plugs. Then I line up the metal bracket and I screw down all four screws. Alright, one side was done. Now to install the next wall bracket on other side, I first double check the distance between the bracket and the ceiling and distance between the floor and the ceiling and I make sure that the both brackets are leveled. Then I mark the holes and drill them and I install the wall brackets using the same steps as before. Done. Once both wall brackets was installed, I removed the screen limiters on both sides of the screen and I carefully lift the screen and attach it on the wall brackets. The screen housing is not too much heavy and even the average Joe like myself can lift it up without too much of the effort. Once I hear the click, I let go of the screen and I screw down two secure screws underneath the screen housing with the Allen key. Next I plug in the screen, roll it down and I slide out all metal brackets and then I peel off the plastic foil. The installation of the screen was complete. 
Next step was a fine screen adjustment using this tool rod. With a plastic yellow one, you adjust when the screen should stop inside the housing, and with a black rubber one, you adjust the screen height. Alright, I finished with the screen adjustment, and now let's give it a try. While we're watching for the screen to unfold, I will use this opportunity to say that it was very tricky to find a matching TV stand that you see under the projector. Since this room is in a basement, I do not have a high ceiling, so the projector needs to be as low as possible, in order to use almost the entire screen surface. That's why I did not install the Rise Up version of this screen, which I still have, as I will need to build a custom TV stand for the entire screen housing, which will be much more expensive and way more time consuming. Now, right, that's nice. The screen stopped exactly what I wanted and it looks awesome. Now the last step will be to hide this power cable that is hanging on the left side of the screen, or I might just replace the entire cable with a white one and at least twice as long. Now, right, all done. Now this setup looks much nicer and much cleaner. By the way, the screen needs around 30 seconds to unfold, and the sound level is around 55 decibel, according to my non-calibrated sound meter. Also, I did not install the wire remote control for the screen, as I will only use the remote control with the radio frequency. Alright, and now let's talk about the screen quality. After close-up inspection of the whole screen surface, I noticed some slight horizontal crazes in the fabric, which were, by the way, mentioned in the manual. So I left the screen unfolded for a few days to stretch and the crazes start to disappear. Now they are much less noticeable from the close distance and from a normal watching distance they are completely invisible. Other than that the quality of the screen fabric was very good. I did not found any imperfection in a screen fabric print, I did not found any dust or any ink marks, the entire screen surface was completely flat and the tension cables on the side of the screen are doing very good job keeping even the side of the screen nice and flat. Now since this screen is designed to block ambient light, let's talk about the picture quality and do some comparison with and without the screen in a different light conditions. Projector that I will use with this screen is the ultra short throw laser projector from Vava. This projector can project image in 4K up to 150 inches from a very close distance. And if you missed my video review for this projector, you can find it in video description. Now let's talk about the picture quality and do some comparison. For example, this is the picture quality without the screen on a white wall in a typical room light conditions. As you can see in this particular darker scene, the picture quality is not that good. The picture looks pretty washed out, with a poor contrast, and it's not really enjoyable to look at. Now with the screen, we can see that the quality of the picture is now completely changed. The picture contrast is way better, and the screen instantly changed the completely visual experience. The same goes when the lights are on. Since this room is in a basement, and not too much of the light are coming through, I have installed very bright 6-way ceiling lamp with a 6 LED bulbs, and on the right wall we have some window lamps. For example, this is the picture quality with the screen and with the full lights on. As you can see, the picture quality are still pretty good, which is very impressive consider how bright the room lights actually are. In comparison, this is a picture quality without the screen, the picture looks pretty washed out, with a poor contrast and it's not really enjoyable to look at. Again, it's pretty big difference. Now this is the picture quality with the half lights on. Now the three bulbs on the ceiling are switched on, together with the lamps on the windows. Again, with the screen the picture quality is very good, with a good contrast and nice colors, and this is without the screen. Again, it's pretty big difference. Now I switch off the ceiling light and only the lamps on the windows are still on. As you can see, the picture is nice and bright, with a high contrast and vivid colors. And now without the screen, picture quality is very similar, there are still a slight difference in a contrast, but it's not that noticeable, especially on the camera. Also, I gotta say that the visual experience when watching movies or playing games on this huge screen is so cool and fun, and I like it a lot. Once you go with a screen of this size, there is no going back to the regular TVs. I also like how the projector screen don't have any glare or reflections and wherever you are in a room, you will see the perfect image thanks to the huge viewing angle. In the end, I think this is a very good projector screen that gives quite a boost in picture quality in a room with ambient light. And with this screen, the difference in a picture quality in some scenes are like night and day. Only cons that I can say about this screen is quite a short power cable 
then in my opinion should be at least twice as long. Other than that, I'm very satisfied with this screen and I can easily recommend it to anyone who are looking to improve performance of their UCT laser projectors. Alright guys, I hope that you liked this video and found it useful. Link of this projector screen and the laser projector from this video you can find in a video description. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave the comment. Don't forget to like this video, thanks for watching and I see you next time. Bye bye.